Did you know in Saving Private Ryan, Private Jackson killing the German sniper by firing a shot through the man's scope and into his eye happened in real life? Though not during World War II, and not by a Private Jackson. It was accomplished by U.S. Marine Gunnery Sergeant Carlos Hathcock during the Vietnam War. Hathcock was a sniper who was being fired at by a concealed North Vietnamese Army sniper. He finally managed to catch a glimpse of the man's sniper scope and put a round through it, killing him. Hathcock was considered one of the top snipers in the U.S. military, and the incident depicted in the film pays tribute to him. Did you know in Iron Man 3, Maya Hansen was originally supposed to have a more elaborate death scene? Originally, Killian would have shot her and left, and she would have dragged herself to the computer terminal and erased all extremist data. After that, she would touch one of her plants, which would have caused it to explode and kill her. It was filmed and deleted from the final cut, but it's still on the bonus material of the Blu-ray edition. Did you know in Captain America Civil War? In Bucharest, Bucky Barnes could have been buying plums from a fruit market because plums can be good for Alzheimer's, a disease that affects memory. Given that Bucky had been brainwashed and struggled to remember his life before he became the Winter Soldier, it's appropriate that he would seek out plums. Another interesting bit of information about this scene is that Sebastian Stan, the actor who plays Bucky, was actually born in Romania, and even spoke perfect Romanian briefly while talking to the fruit vendor. Did you know in In Time? The film takes place in 2169, but the cars are all from the 20th century. In fact, it's the director's trademark to use vintage automobiles in futuristic settings. For example, the timekeepers drive identically modified 1970 Dodge Challengers, while the one Will drives is a 1969 Jaguar XKE convertible. The oldest car in the film is a 1961 Lincoln Continental, often referred to as the Suicide Doors car, the same type President John F. Kennedy was riding in when he was assassinated. Did you know in Wonder Woman 1984? Diana's Golden Eagle armor is based on the armor Wonder Woman wore in Alex Ross's graphic novel Kingdom Come, released back in 1996. According to the movie, the armor was worn by a famous Amazon warrior named Asteria, portrayed by the former Wonder Woman actress Linda Carter, and was created by combining the armor pieces of every Amazon living at the time. The outfit became a legend after she wore it in a fierce war against man's forces, where she took the brunt of their attacks so that her companions could obtain refuge on Themyscira. Unfortunately, according to Ross, the studio couldn't compensate him for using his design in other media besides comics. Did you know in Crazy Stupid Love, Emma Stone developed a phobia of being lifted up high. While rehearsing for the scene where Ryan Gosling lifted Emma Stone in the air, dirty dancing style, Stone didn't realize she had a phobia of being lifted up high until the first time Gosling did it. She had a full meltdown, which Gosling described as like a possum falling out of a tree and trying to scratch your eyes out. Afterwards, she ran away crying and had to lie in bed watching Labyrinth to calm her down. Her phobia came from when she was seven years old and fell off the high bars in gymnastics and broke both her arms. They ended up using a body double for the lift, but they did use the recording of Stone's real screams. Did you know in Stranger Things? In Season 2, Episode 2, Dustin and Lucas talk to Max about how she's originally from California, and when they hear that she likes skateboards, they make a joke that involves the word tubular. That's exactly what happens in Hocus Pocus when the bullies make fun of another character that's also named Max. They talk about his skateboard and throw around the word tubular. Did you know in Uncharted? Santiago owns a 1954 Mercedes-Benz 300 SL. This nearly priceless classic appears in several scenes throughout the film, including the climactic cargo plane scene. The Mercedes-Benz 300 SL was made from 1954 to 1957, and only about 1,400 units were produced. It's also known as Gullwing, because of its Gullwing doors that open upwards instead of outwards like other cars at the time did. It's been said that this is one of the most beautiful cars ever made, and that it influenced generations of designers after its release, 